This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be talking about the Nomadic Tech Case, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So if we start with the exterior of this thing, we're not exactly sure what the material is. We weren't able to find it anywhere online, but it has a kind of like TPU polyurethane feel to it and it repels water. So it does have that water resistance that is listed on the site. And it does look very nice. It's kind of like matte. And if you look very closely, there is a bit of texture to it. You can also see some of the items I have uh, poking out a little bit, but that's not normally an issue. Um, but it does look very nice and it doesn't really, stuff doesn't grind into it so much, but if you do kind of like bump it on a corner or something sharp, it kind of makes a little mark. And you, if you scrub it a little bit, that tends to come out, but it's not perfect. So if you are kind of hardy with your gear, that could be an issue and it'll get marked up kind of quickly. But we have unbranded, or at least a brand we don't recognize zippers throughout on this thing. They all do, all the exterior zippers do have a weather seal, which is added, you know, to keep water out if you get caught in the rain, if you're just taking this and don't have a backpack or something to protect it. And then we have these, give you a better view there, a nice little zipper pull that's like a little looks like nylon or something like that. And then we have that heat shrunk plastic on the end. So the heat shrunk plastic does get a little bit wet uh, or it does get slippery when it's wet, I should say. Um, but it's still pretty easy to grab onto because this uh, nylon has a little bit of texture to it. So it's easy to grab onto in uh, pretty much any situation uh, you might find yourself in. And also there is a metal tab that the nylon is wrapped through. And you can kind of grab onto that too if you need a little bit of extra, uh, little some gusto, I guess, to grab onto there. Something I did notice that it didn't happen to me, but I have had it happen on other packs, is the zipper heads are the kind that don't really, they don't close on the back end. And there is quite a bit of a gap there. So in theory, this pull could come off. Like I said, it didn't happen to me or while I was testing it, but uh, that could be you know something that would happen. And once those come off, it can be kind of, a little bit of a pain to get them back on. So let's go to the back side here. And we have this removable strap, which is again made, I, I believe from nylon. It's kind of rough, kind of like seatbelt material, or at least like old school seatbelt material if you ever drove an older car. And it is a little bit, not too rough, but the edges are kind of rough because it is a more durable material. Um, so if you do wear it for an extended period of time, there's no padding there. Like there's no, like sometimes they'll have like a little thing that moves back and forth. So you can set it where it's connecting with your body on your shoulder there. But that is not, is not here on this bag. So after a little bit of time, it's not all that comfortable. If you really pack this thing out, like if you, you know, both pockets are full and the front pocket's full and you have a ton of weight in there, after five or 10 minutes, you're really gonna feel it. So even, you know, a short trip through the airport, you could get uncomfortable pretty quickly. But for most, purposes, like if you're just, you know, going into the office or something like that, this is not so much of an issue. But to clip it on, we have these metal clips, which are pretty nice to look at, but they aren't the easiest to hook and unhook because it's that like a little, almost like a pry bar type deal to unhook them. But once they're on, you know, if you're not constantly taking this on and off, it's not a huge deal, but there's a better look at the clip itself and just opens like that. And it's pretty springy, so you don't have to worry about it wearing out. And I did take it on and off quite a few times when I was putting it in my backpack and using it as a uh, more of a messenger bag. But it goes on fairly easy, but getting it off can be a little bit more difficult. So most of the things I saw online show people wearing it just on a shoulder like this. And I'm not the biggest fan of that because it kind of tended to slide down because I pack it out so much. So I liked putting it over my shoulder like that and kind of more wearing it as like a cross body bag. And I found that it displaced the weight more too. So even if this was really full, because I said I like to pack it full, it wasn't that uncomfortable. So 
I prefer to wear it like this, depending on your body type, you might feel differently or it might be more comfortable to just put it on your shoulder like this. But having both options is nice. On the back also, we have this luggage pass through right here. So this is meant for on the go use. And especially, you know, if you're traveling or something like that, you can keep everything in one place. So you just slip this on top of your, um, your rolling luggage and you, you know, buzzing through the airport. If you're checking your bag, you can check the bag and then put the strap on and carry it. And then once you're uh, on the airplane, you can slide this under your seat or wherever you want to put it, keep it in your lap. But it also has these two straps here as well for carrying. They're both a little bit awkward because they don't extend out. So it's kind of hard to, to carry them properly. Like even holding like this is a little bit awkward no matter how you uh, hold it. Um, I did for a little bit when I was walking downtown, I stuck my arm through here and grabbed it like that, almost like a shield, which was comfortable enough, but it, it still felt a little awkward. And then you can carry it this way as well, but this isn't very wide. So if you have a bigger hand, you might struggle with that. And they're not very comfortable either. You can see that they're not very padded. There isn't much, it's like uh, nylon on top of nylon, almost like folded. So it's not super comfortable. And if you pack it out similarly, similarly to this strap here, uh, it's gonna get uncomfortable pretty quick. But if you're just going somewhere quickly or a quick jaunt you know, to the office or something, it's not the biggest deal. But so we will go to the inside now. Actually, we'll start with this exterior pocket. I don't want to forget about that. It's got this one uh, exterior, uh, call it like a front pocket, that is good. I just have a Kindle in there right now, but it actually does have quite a bit of room. Right now, I've got a lot of stuff on the inside, so it can't expand so much because it kind of shares a little bit of space with the interior there. But if you see this uh, Kindle, if you put it that way, it still fits that way, up and down, or wide, it fits that way with a lot of room to spare. So you could fit, you know, obviously flatter items do well here. As you can see, it is bulging out a bit there. So anything wider than that, even a book might be a little too wide for that. Um, but even quick access items, you can put your phone in there or your passport or boarding pass or something like that. So now let's dive into the inside of this pack. Uh, we've got two different uh, little sleeves, I guess you could call them each, inside the main sleeve. This front sleeve here is where you can keep all of your accessories. So we've got these mesh pockets that are pretty stretchy, but they have a lot of like retention, like they retain their shape pretty well. So when they're not being actively pulled on by your hand or an item, they go back uh, into shape. Just kind of a side angle here. You can see how far they come out and then they snap right back. So we've got, pull this out of here. So just something off the bat, this is my, um, my Mac keyboard, and it doesn't fit this way, which is a little bit annoying to me, so you have to find somewhere else to put it if you want to bring it. Um, it would be nice if this was a little bit wider and it would fit this way, but in terms of saving space, I understand. Um, but a little bit annoying, this is kind of just wobbling around inside. Um, but for as, as far as these pockets go, we've got uh, two smaller mesh pockets, and then we've got this larger mesh pocket and two pen pockets on either side. Uh, the pen pockets are kind of awkward. They're a little bit small, and even these kind of standard G2s are a little bit hard to get in and out of there. Uh, so I didn't find those terribly useful. Um, but these pockets are pretty great, especially these small ones for, you know, cords and stuff like that. Like, I've got a pretty sizable um, external hard drive cord here. And then in this pocket, I've got my Magic Mouse a uh, USB-C to lightning to charge both the mouse and the keyboard, and then just a set of headphones. But all that fit in there, there's room to spare. If I wanted to fit more, I probably could have, but it's good to be able to, if you just put a few things in there, it's tight enough to stay put. And if you wanna put a bunch of stuff in there, it'll fit too. And then this big pocket is where you can really stuff some, some stuff. So this is a, uh, an iPad, obviously. Um, but that fits in there with room to spare. So I was able to put some more in there as well. And I have just this dongle slid in here too. But as you can see, those both fit in there very easily. And there was like a ton of room to spare. With this pocket, you really have a lot of, um, move, like you're able to go pretty far out. Obviously you're limited by the material on the shell, which is very rigid and doesn't you know 
poke out very much if you stuff it full, but you really can get a lot in there. It also helps for getting stuff in and out. So if you're going on a trip and you really just want to get all your tech in here uh, just for the journey, you're not really going to use it on the way. You know, you can open it like that and kind of layer things in all the way down to the bottom and get things set up and then you can take everything out once you get to your location. Uh, something that bothers me about both of these pockets is that they only come down about halfway on one of the sides. So it comes all the way down over here, but then when you're opening it up, we only get halfway. So when you're opening it, it's kind of like a diagonal and I'm not really sure why it doesn't come all the way down, but it's just kind of annoying. Like if you got something stuck in the bottom corner there, it's a little hard to see and get to. Um, but the interior is, I like the, the gray here, the black mesh to it, they kind of contrast nicely. Um, the black can be a little hard to see on in darker situations, um, but overall very nice looking interior, very professional. So we'll move to the back side, which is where the laptops are at, or I should say laptop for now, because there is just one laptop in here right now. So we've got uh, this little sleeve in here, which is where you're supposed to put your laptop. Got my 15 inch in here right now. But I also sometimes if I was in a hurry and I, I didn't get it in here, it, it made it through uh, just fine. Um, but something that we were able to do, we actually tested it today, we got three laptops in this thing. So you're supposed to be able to fit one 15 inch laptop, but today when we were uh, just messing around to see how much it would fit inside, we were able to fit a 16 inch in here, whereas the case only lists being able to fit a 15 inch, we did fit a 16 inch in this main pocket here. And then on, actually what we, it was a, a 15 in here, a 13 here, and then on this side, we fit the 16 in the accessory compartment. Obviously that is not something you would want to do for travel, especially the two laptops touching each other here, um, but it was able to fit three laptops and it honestly can fit two pretty nicely. Like we stowed a 15 inch in the laptop compartment and I also had a 13 inch in the accessory compartment and it really did not feel too heavy and it seemed kind of like it fit pretty nicely. If you have a bunch of accessories to go in these mesh pockets, it, you can't really put a laptop in here. Um, and I wouldn't recommend you putting a laptop in there for an extended trip or like, well, it's gonna be jostling around because that's not what it's meant for. But if you're going on a trip with your partner or your friend or family or something like that and you wanna bring two laptops, it is nice to have uh, that capability, especially if you can share accessories. So if you both need the same accessories, the same charger, the same cables, you can bring one of each of those and put them in here and then two laptops, one on each side. Um, so it's great for saving space in that regard. Um, and just, you really can fit a lot of stuff in here. But we'll move back over to this other side here. But apart from this little divider here, there isn't that much going on. It is a little slippery, but you're probably not putting uh, so many like little dongles or anything on this side anyway, because you have the organization on the other side. Um, but you can get your laptop in and out of here pretty quickly and easily. And it's this, there no padding here to protect the laptop, but there is exterior padding. There's like a little piece of foam inside this side and then also in the other side as well. So you do have protection. I will, something I will say that I've seen on other laptop cases is the corners here don't feel very protected. Like if you push down, you can kind of see that it, there isn't much. There's that same little padding and there's a zipper there. But if you were to drop it on the corner, that could be, you know, catastrophic. I, I didn't drop it while I was using it and the case is in very good shape. Um, and I'm normally pretty rugged with my stuff, but just pushing down on that corner, you can really see that it, there isn't much, like there isn't anything firm in there to stop your laptop from kind of getting beaten up. Uh, but overall, very, I mean, it, this is one of the, the larger laptop cases I have used. And it is big and beefy. It doesn't fit into a day pack very well, um, or even a larger backpack for that matter. It's, it's very wide and it's just got a lot of bulk to it. Um, but if you do need this or you're using it not inside of a bag, you're gonna put it on using the luggage pass through or you're gonna carry it using the so shoulder strap. Uh, it's, a, it's a great sleeve that you can fit a ton of gear in. And the added weather resistance is nice for if you're going somewhere you don't know what the weather is gonna be like or you might not have um, you know, a big super waterproof jacket with you. So it performs very well. Some people might not be able to get over the bulk that it does have. 
but overall very happy with how it performed. Um, and if you need to, you can fit three laptops in there. So there you have it, the Nomadic Tech Case. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.